Welcome to my kitchen. Today we'll be making cheese. How exciting is that? And this type of cheese, I eat it for breakfast and I also put it in my salad. Yay, let's get started. One gallon of whole milk, half a cup of yogurt, half a cup of apple cider vinegar, half of the squeezed lemon, and this guy over here. All right, now first put your measured yogurt, lemon, and apple cider vinegar on the side. Then pour the whole one gallon of milk into your pot and put it on high heat. Now you don't really need a thermometer for this. Still, if you have one, it's good because you can have an idea when the milk is about to rise. But if you don't, just make sure you are on top of the milk so that it won't spill. Just stir one to two times to avoid milk sticking to the bottom. Once you see some little bubbles appear, pour half a cup of your yogurt in the pot and stir it slowly for a few seconds. Then just wait for the milk to rise. When the milk is about to rise, pour your half a cup of apple cider vinegar and half a squeezed lemon into your pot right away. Your cheese will immediately begin to mass. That's when you start bringing the cheese mass in the middle. Don't stir it, just slowly bring the cheese mass to the center. Do this for about three minutes. We want to do this until the liquid left from the milk turns yellow. When it gets yellow color, you're in the right place. Just go ahead and turn off the stove. In this video, I poured the yogurt at 10 minutes in boiling, the squeezed lemon, the apple cider vinegar at 15 minutes in boiling, and the yellow liquid in about three minutes. The next step, put your net mesh bag thingy in a big bowl. You don't really need a strainer, but it's good to have one. It makes it more comfortable. Go ahead and pour your cheese into the bowl so it can separate the liquid from the cheese. Then just put the liquid on the side. Be careful, this is going to be very hot. I don't really feel the heat like ordinary people. So I'm okay doing this, but try to be creative because you have to turn the net a few times so the water can come out of it and tie it multiple times. Make sure the net doesn't open so your cheese doesn't fall apart. Next, what I usually do, I hang it to the cabinet above my kitchen sink and leave it there for six hours. If you don't have a cabinet on top of your sink, just tie it to the cabinet handle and put a plate under it so the soaking water can drop in the dish. All right, now it's been six hours, so we're going to open the cheese and it looks like this. Well, beautiful. All right, so the next step is to pour the yellow liquid into the Tupperware because your cheese will be immersed in the liquid. It's better to do this step before leaving it for six hours. Just add the salt to taste while the liquid is still hot. It would dissolve right away. I don't think it matters really, so just go ahead and improvise. Here I put two and a half teaspoon of salt in the liquid and you can put more if you want your cheese to be saltier. Up to you. Obviously, the more salt you put, the longer it takes to store. Alright, now go ahead, cut your cheese into pieces, transfer pieces into the liquid, cover with the lid and put it in the fridge. And that's it. Now your cheese is ready for a delicious breakfast, snack, or you can add it to your salad. Oh, and don't forget your Persian tea, of course. <laughs> okay, so this is the amount of cheese I got out of that milk. And it smells pretty full and heavy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.